Hello again. <laughs> I had connection issue, so I had to. That's okay. It. No worries. Nice so, to meet um, you. nice to meet you too. What was your name? Uh, my name is Spark. Spark. Okay. Do you know what that means in English? Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, like the beginning of a fire. Uh, exactly. It's a really cool name. Yeah. yeah. What's the name? My name is Deborah, but you can call me Deb for yeah. short. One. Yeah. 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 Where are you from? Um, I'm from Australia. So I live in a place called Brisbane. Have you ever heard of Brisbane before? Uh, yeah. So the name of the city in Australia is called Brisbane. Um, I haven't heard about that city. <laughs> okay. Do you know any cities in Australia? Yeah, I do know. Uh, I know yeah. Melbourne. Uh, Adelaide, oh, yeah. yeah. Adelaide, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got uh, it, yeah. Yeah. There's because another I, one. Sorry, uh, you go. Uh, yeah, I have my cousins in Melbourne. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So what Australia? It's a beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I'll just show you on the map, just so you have an idea. So, this is Australia, okay. and then Melbourne. Melbourne is down here. So your friend um, mm. lives down there. And then okay. I'm up at this orange dot. So I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit. Um, so Brisbane is about halfway up the coast, um, uh, just on the, on the, the side of the sea. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a big country. So we're a long way from Melbourne. Like, yeah. What's the maybe? time there? It must, uh, it must be somewhere 1 p.m. now. Yes. Well, it's 12.30. Oh, so, okay. yeah. So where are, you, where are you at the moment and where are you from? Uh, right at the moment, I am in India. I'm at Bangalore. Okay. Yeah. But I'm from, I'm from Bhutan. Oh, from Bhutan. Okay. Yeah. Um, forgive me because I don't know much about Bhutan. Can you tell me, like, do they speak the same as India? Uh, is it similar? obviously yeah uh, no we have our own language it's different from okay. india yeah the indians speak hindi but uh, our local uh, our national language is songkha oh sure uh, yeah uh, do you know where it's located i hope you know where bhutan is located um let me just go to back to my maps is it it's quite close to india is that right yeah yeah we share border with india and yeah and Bhutan is in south central part of Asia. Oh, okay. It's a small, oh, it's a small landlocked country between China and oh, India. Okay. Yep, I've just found it. Yeah, just a dot yeah. on the map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very small country. Next to Nepal. Yeah. Yeah. It's, okay. It's so, a very it, small country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is it quite mountainous? Do you have the? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a mountainous country. It, it's sure. in the Himalayas. In, yeah, it would be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll just show you on the map again. So this is Bhutan's gone up there. And mm. this this country that I have a lot of dots in, um, uh, that's, that's Cambodia. Do you know Cambodia? Uh, yeah, I have heard uh, uh, about it, but I don't know much about its culture and uh, stuff like yeah. that. So I used to live there, so that's why I've got okay. a lot of dots on that. I lived oh. there for just over a year. Oh, when did you move back to Australia? Um, just the start of COVID, actually. I wasn't oh. supposed to come back, but COVID yeah. happened. And I couldn't stay in Cambodia okay. because yeah. all the schools shut, so I couldn't mm. do my job as a teacher. Oh, okay. So I had to come back to Australia. So, mm. yeah. So um, are, you, are you doing something apart from teaching on Camly on like in your country now or it's just teaching on Cambly for I'm the just, moment? Yeah, just for the moment I'm teaching on Cambly. I did have another job, but I didn't like it. So at the moment, oh, okay. just on Cambly, but in the future, I might go back to studying at university. Okay. I'm not sure yet. But, oh, you, yeah. uh, you want to study again? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of becoming like a counsellor. Do you know what a counsellor oh. is? Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, were you studying psychology back there, uh, back there in your university before? 
No, I actually didn't go to a university before. So I just did um, a different kind of training, like um, TAFE. I don't know. I think only Australia has TAFE. It's like technical Uh, college. Yeah? Oh, oh, yeah. Do you know know what I mean? uh, Yeah, yeah, I understood. Because back in our country as well, after uh, still like some students graduate high school, they can Mm -hmm. go to technical colleges and then learn different skill sets. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, So how about you? Did you go to uni? What are you doing now? Yeah, I'm studying now. I'm uh, I'm in uh, third year now. In third year, okay. Yep. Yeah. And I'm majoring in journalism, psychology, and English. Oh, journaling, psychology, and English. Yeah, wow. exactly. <laughs> is that a is that a big workload? Uh, yeah, somewhat. It's uh, a big thing, <laughs> but I'm managing somehow. Yeah. Oh wow, that's so that's like inspiring. That's a lot yeah. of a lot of hard work. But so, did you move to India to do that course? Was that the purpose uh, of the move? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. came to India for my studies. Sure. So I I still have one uh, exa- uh I think nine months, uh, nine to ten months to stay in India. Then after my after I complete my studies, I will go back to my country. Yeah. Okay. And what's your dream job? Uh yeah, my dream job. I want to do something on my own. Okay. Yeah, like I want freelance. to. Uh, not exactly freelancing. I would say, okay. uh, I will do digital marketing or something stuff like that. And I want to travel. I love traveling. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I hope to travel. Hope to travel every country in the world one day so oh, wow. yeah. yeah i want to work digitally like i am learning something now i am learning digital marketing and so okay. one day i am hoping and looking forward to creating a course of my own yeah. and then impacting lives because uh, if we have a skill and a knowledge and if we have that um, ability and skill set to take our knowledge from physical mode to online mode then mm. we will be able to, you know, uh, leverage our time and do lots of other things. Like we can uh, fulfill our dreams in that way because my dream is to travel every country in the world and to travel a lot of countries and explore different cultures Yeah. and to do- document my travel journey. So, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I am investing in myself now. I'm learning, I, like... I, Fluent as I am now in like while talking in English, but I have yeah. been entering in courses and practicing to talk in English because back there in my country we don't talk in English much. We used to talk in our own uh, native language, so yeah. uh, it's a bit difficult to. We feel yeah. like uh, maybe our pronunciation is bad. Maybe uh, mm-hmm. what I talk doesn't make sense to others, like people from around the world, and we always yeah. feel in- insecure about that. Me, there are a lot, lot of the people who feel yeah. insecure, right? So this was the step that I took to you know learn yeah. and to understand myself, understand my English, and to be open because this is the first time that I'm talking to foreigners like from US, Canada, Australia, yeah. and like many other parts of the world. And it feels so good to connect different yeah. people from different parts of the world to know their culture, to you know, yeah, communicate yeah. with them, yeah. Yeah, it's not as scary as you think, is it? Like, uh, you have all these fears about, will I say the wrong thing? Like, will I get yeah, embarrassed? Yeah. But it's not that bad, is it? Yeah, I always used to feel that way. Maybe, you know, I will land up saying something and fumble and stutter while speaking in English. And, but nothing happens, you know. It's, it just takes time. And English is, uh, you know, um, just, it just needs practice. Hmm. Yeah, English is a language. Needs- it's, yeah, people feel that English, English people study English as a subject. People speak so much and worry so much about the grammar, grammar and you know sentence structure and so much about this yeah. and that. But it doesn't matter that much. We just need to get out of our comfort zone, as I yeah. did, and then practice and learn, <laughs> because this yeah. is how we grow, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely true. 
Wow. I'm um, usually when I ask my my students like their dream, they give me like some tiny dream about, oh, you know, like I might want this job in the future or something. But um so to hear your dream about wanting to go to every country in the world, it's like, wow, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I love. That's so good. Yeah, um, because see, uh, everyone wants to do a nine to five job, right? Because we have been taught that way. I don't. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and then now uh, people are understanding how difficult it is to work yeah. for someone, work under a boss and you know wait every month for a paycheck mm -hmm. and we won't have the liberty to like do what we want and to fulfill our yeah. dreams yeah so it's okay because some people want to be accountant some people want to be doctors some people want to you know do some sorts of jobs sure. and they're that is their dream and their passion but for people like me and you or maybe there are lots of other people who want to do something besides going to a job from nine to five. Yeah. I, like this is the great opportunity now because it's the right time because the digital is booming, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because internet is accessible to everyone and we can make the best use of it. Like we can either be consumer of internet or we can, you know, make internet work yeah, for us yeah. and yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Like I, I love the freedom that Cambly gives me. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just like I can, I'm in my room right now, but in a few weeks I'm moving and I'll just yeah. take my job with me. It'll be fine. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's so cool about it, you know, because you can go anywhere you want in the world mm -hmm. and you just need uh, internet connection and a yeah. laptop or a mobile phone and you can work. And yeah. how wonderful is that, right? Yeah, it's definitely a freedom that kind of only this generation has yeah. had. Yeah, because yeah, people a few centuries, a few decades ago had to, they had no option to, you know, yeah. work like us. We, they don't have the opportunity like us we have today. So they had mm. to go to the job from nine to five and do stuff like that. But we have the opportunity. We are in the right time and, you know, there is no right time in the future. This is the right time and we should make the best use of it. I feel in that yeah. way. And yeah. yeah. I cannot be certain about my future, but I am learning as much as I can, and I am doing all that I can in my, you know, in my yeah. whatever that is in my hand to, yeah, learn and develop my skills so that one day I can be financially free and I can go yeah. wherever I want and do whatever I want and fulfill my dreams and do lots of my lots of things that I wish and want to in my life. Mm. Do, does your family and all your friends kind of support that or do they feel a bit scared for you? Uh, yeah, they support because uh, yeah. I talk with mom almost every day and I yeah. say that this college and stuff is not for me. I say that <laughs> and then I say that I don't want to job from mm. nine to five and I want to do something of my own. And yeah. she she always supports me and she says that do whatever you want in life just be happy and you know be successful because every parent wants their children to be successful right totally yeah and happy yeah and obviously like happy yeah yeah I think it can be quite hard when there's people in your life that are not supporting you on that kind of journey but it's so helpful when like you've got your mom and people that are like okay yeah. just go through it yeah we believe in you yeah there will be obviously people who won't believe in us there will be next yeah. years there will be people who say that our you know we won't be able to fulfill our dreams and people will laugh as laugh laugh at us right because mm -hmm. that's how the society functions because if we do something good other people will just become envious of our success and our mm -hmm. journey and they they cannot do like us so they feel jealous and it's okay because that's how the world is we just need yes. to smile and move forward in life because only we know that what we really want in life and mm -hmm. we are not doing that for anyone else we are doing it for ourselves so yeah. that must matter yeah this everyone should understand yeah yeah it kind of reflects them more than it reflects us right yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's a good chat today. I hope that we can talk another time. Um, yeah. And I wish you the best for now. You have a good day.
Thank you. See you later. See you. Bye. bye.